Oh, good morning, everyone. So, uh, yeah, it's been a while. I've been uh, off grid for probably a little bit over a year. Uh, so I thought I'd give you a little update on, on the shop and the projects. But uh, the main reason for this, if there's any um, viewers left out there, I'm putting a couple pieces of equipment uh, up for a new home. So this one right here is a Hardage. Um, it looks like, you know, I don't know, know what model it is. It looks like it's a second op. It's got a Hardage tool holder, a couple other extra, or tool posts and a couple extra holders. Uh, it's a 5C collet with a collet closer on it. It is uh, 110 volts, single phase. Uh, this thing works. I've used it. Um, I can't tell you, you know, what the accuracy is like, but uh, it's a small machine, so um, you could just see if you're, you know you're into model making and stuff. This is probably really a really good machine for that. And I'll show you the other machine I'm going to put up. Okay, so this is a Brown and Sharp. Um, believe the model is a. Uh, 510 surface grinder. Um, I have a Harig, uh, which is a 6x12. So this is a little bit smaller, but it this is a very heavy-duty machine. It's uh, 223 phase. I've never run the machine. I don't know anything about it. Um, it was included in a bunch of machines that, um, that I had gotten years ago, and it just kind of sat around and and uh, so, yeah, the uh, table's down here with the mag chuck and all the bits. Of, I can put the, uh, the the table back on. I wanted to take it off years ago when I originally moved it because that's what the machinist that I got the machine from said, take that table off so it doesn't get beat up, so, which is what I did. So this guy's ready for a new home. So just reach out. Let me know if you might be interested in either one of these machines. And I'll show you where the Impala is. That's where I kind of left off uh, last year. Okay, so we got the Impala is, is on the frame. Uh, we have the uh, engine transmission, it's LS3. That's in, I built all the wiring harnesses, all the air conditioning, radiator, everything was uh, test fit. Right now what I'm doing is putting all the body panels back on and we'll do a uh, sort of final uh, adjustment and gap. Um, you know, door gaps and trunk and hood gaps and stuff. So yeah, it's uh, it's actually coming along pretty nice. Uh, this is going to be the color. It's desert tan metallic, I believe, two stage. I did uh, the inner fenders, front and rear with a uh, Raptor liner. Uh, as you remember, this is a uh, Roadster Shop uh, spec chassis. So the original chassis is gone, and I have this new chassis under here. Uh, this is a uh, GM Connect and Cruise LS3 with a uh, four-speed GM automatic transmission. And that really, I'm going to try and keep it like a resto mod. I'm not going to change too much. Uh, I'm going to try to keep it looking original as I can. But yeah, she's coming along. Door gaps are not terrible. Um, but maybe as uh, this thing progresses, when I get the hood and trunk on, or yeah, the hood and trunk will, will come back and take another peek to see how progress looks. All right, let me know on those two machines if anybody's interested. Talk to you later.